Hey everyone, Janae here from Originality AI. Originality is an online AI and plagiarism detector with a 99% accuracy rate in AI detection. And today I'm gonna to give you folks a quick run through on how to use our new website scanner tool. So the website scanner is expanding on the abilities of our AI detector, allowing you to monitor and view the AI content over whole domains, whole websites all at once. So we're just on the dashboard here. Let's get started and head over to the website scanner tab on the side. We're gonna go right to add new website. So suppose I'm reading some information about rabbits and I come across a really helpful site. It's called whyrabbits.com. Now I wanna know how much of this website is potentially AI generated content. So let's enter the domain in here, whyrabbits.com. And now I need to decide how many of these pages on this domain I wanna include. As you can see here, we have the option to include every single page under the domain, but we also have the option to include the first, say 10 pages, or we can include a random set of pages. If I know exactly which pages I wanna scan, then I have the option to go ahead and add them as a list down here. I can add them manually, or I can add them to our CSV template, then upload that CSV and they'll automatically be populated. But for today, I think we're gonna go ahead and just take 20 random pages. So let's go ahead and add the website. The scan service is now gonna to check to make sure that we can actually scan this website. Sometimes websites have rules and places that don't allow us to scan them, but this one looks like it's gonna be okay. So we're presented with a site assessment fee. You can think of this as a startup fee. It covers the cost of extracting content from the pages and adding them to the scan system. Once you pay the site assessment fee, then you can go ahead and do your website scans as needed. So let's accept the fee. And now we're taken to our website scan pages. Here are the all the other pages that I have scanned so far. And you can see that the quote is in progress here for whyrabbits.com. So we'll wait for that to complete. And now that it's completed, let's head into this site and start a scan. Right now, the quoted cost of 364 credits is for all 20 of the pages that I added. But if I want, I can scroll down and remove some pages. So maybe I already know how to introduce a cat to a rabbit or I don't care about this page. Let's untoggle it. And you'll see up here that the website scan credits have been reduced accordingly. But for day day, let's go ahead and run the website scan for all of the pages. So I'm gonna click run website scan. And here we're just gonna see the scan as it starts to populate. So the pages are gonna get scanned one by one. And as they get scanned, we'll see them show up into this table down here. Great, so it looks like 18 of 20 pages were successfully scanned. Sometimes pages don't scan well. Uh, for example, if their character count is too low, then we can't reliably AI scan them, so they won't be included here. So 18 out of 20, pretty good. And we can see that you know nine of these pages, there was a low confidence that AI was detected in these pages. But one in particular was, so let's scroll down to the pages scan table to see which one that was. I'm gonna sort by AI count descending so we can see first which one scored the highest and that is can rabbits eat Chinese cabbage if I want to know more about a specific page scan I can click on that page we'll be brought to an overview for that exact page scan so we have the 68% confidence that it's AI and if I scroll down I can see a further breakdown of the content on the page and how it scored so the more red the more high likelihood that this was generated by AI as you can see, a lot of stuff on this page was flagged as potentially AI, but some more than other. And heading back to the results, there's a few options just to view our results differently. So we can select the chart type. Right now we're on AI score group, so we could, for example, view them by word count. So it looks like there's some over 1,000 and some over 2,000, but not a huge variety. We can also head down to the pages scan and just sort by, for example, word count, increasing, decreasing, AI score increasing, decreasing. And something you might be wondering is why does all this matter? You know, why do I care whether a website that I'm creating, that I'm viewing has AI content in it or not? 
while at originality here, we've actually been tracking the saturation of AI content in popular websites and Google search results from 2019 to present day. And what we found is that it's a continuous increase across the board. And we saw in March 2024, when Google applied a manual penalty to over thousands of sites, de-indexing them from their search results. We looked into it a little more and found that 86% of those sites had AI-generated content in them, and 30% of them were almost pure AI. Sites like Google are actively trying to keep the quality of their search results high. And based on action like this, we can see that including AI content in a website is a quick way to put yourself at risk for penalties from Google. That's why at Originality AI, with tools like this website scanner, we're trying to make it easy and efficient for people to know whether the content they're creating, they're interacting with, is potentially AI generated or not. So that's all for me today. And thank you for listening and watching. And head over to Originality AI, check out the AI scanner, check out the web scanner, let us know what you think. Cheers.